Hello. This year's World Foods Day theme is Right to Foods for a Better Life and a Better Future. And believe you me, this resonates strongly with us in the Caribbean. We're in the midst of an NCD crisis. We've seen that chronic non-communicable diseases have led to too high a loss of life in our land, too high a loss of quality of life as well, and indeed to unsustainable costs to our national health systems. Investment should be in pursuit of a vision not simply expenses devoted to fixing problems that would have been prevented. We want to make those investments. We're told that the Caribbean is a region with the highest cost of a healthy diet. That cannot be acceptable. Clearly a focus has to be made in investing in producing nutritious foods efficiently and sustainably. And we used to do it. We need to make healthy foods more accessible. We need to transform our food systems, and that must start with transforming our own thinking. Our thinking about food, our thinking about agriculture, our thinking about our role as custodians of a fragile environment. Our engagement with young people, innovation and investment, yes, they are all essential components for building a better and more food secure tomorrow. My dear friend, Director General Q Dong Yu, has very astutely designed the World Food Forum to generate the necessary momentum for driving the agri-food system transformation across the globe in many different realities. While I'm not able to physically attend this forum in 2024, I'm pleased to say that the CARICOM region is well represented, led by our Secretary General Carla Barnett. The Caribbean delegations will be telling the story of how rapidly changing patterns of precipitation and salt water incursion are affecting our agriculture here in the Caribbean. They will speak to you about the urgent need for timely investment in irrigation systems across the region to build resilient food systems. We also understand that while we expand irrigation systems, we are committed to adopting technologies that assure us that we are using water efficiently. A small islands that are highly vulnerable to the impacts of the climate crisis, we are committed to the sustainable management of our water our land and our marine resources. The truth is that we have determined as a region that 2025 was supposed to be the year by which we reduced our import bill by 25%. But with the rise of the pandemic between 2020 and 2023 effectively, that target seems modest and seems probably inappropriate. And we therefore now have to see how we with the rest of the world can work to be able to increase that local food production, that regional food production, and ensure that we do not have hungry people in our midst. For we all know that a hungry man is an angry man, and a hungry man can be a sick man. I close by thanking the FAO for its global leadership on this agri-food system transformation. And I would like each of you to know that you are in our thoughts for the successful deliberations during this most important forum. Thank you.